Hello, gentlemen. Welcome to the first ever What's My Job segment here at ExceptionalGent.com. And we are really blessed to be able to sit and talk with a guy who really has helped get Exceptional Gent up and off the ground. Gentlemen, this is Josh Beal. Josh Beal is responsible for that fantastic looking logo that you might be seeing all over the website, all over uh, various exciting things to come here at Exceptional Gent. So, we want to sit and talk with Josh a little bit this morning and talk about, you know, you know, the development of a career, what it looks like, why it's important, how it's impacted him as a man. And because I know you guys are out there looking for work. You're looking for jobs, you're asking us, hey, what's it take to get into these fields? So, you know, Josh, why don't you start off by telling us a little bit about yourself and how you came into the career field that you're in in graphic design. Sure. Well, my name is Josh Beal. Um, I uh, have been in this uh, particular field for 11 years now. Uh, it started out with um, just perusing the uh, uh, newspapers, work source back at the time, um, see what was out there, um, just exploring my options, and I found out about the job with the Army. Well, thanks. And this uh, particular job was uh, the Army's version of marketing um, as a graphic designer. So if you think of like the old West where they have wanted posters, um, I did the same thing in a modern context, except instead of catching an outlaw, I was catching a terrorist. Um, so things just kind of springboarded from there. Thanks. Well, first off, thank you for your service. I, think, I know there are a lot of gents out there that are watching here who have served or considering serving, and you know, that's something exceptional gent. Hey, if you want to serve in the military, absolutely go out there and serve our country. So tell us a little bit the education that it took to get into the graphic design work and the effort you had to put into it. Um, with uh, signing up with the Army, they provided the training. Um, so that was uh, after basic training. There was uh, close to three months of training uh, per pertaining to graphic design. And uh, from there, I just went straight straight to work. Any key software? Is there anything they specifically trained you on that if a, if a guy was you know, tinkering around at home and you wanted to start practicing now that he used? Mm -hmm. uh, definitely Adobe. Um, Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, and sometimes even uh, InDesign. Okay. All right. So, three key pieces of software there, maybe a little bit more. Uh, any other marketing software you think that would be good for these guys to learn? Um, I wouldn't think so much marketing, uh, but I would branch out into um, web programs as well, uh, mainly WordPress at this time. Uh, if you want to get your feet wet, Weebly is a good one. Um, same thing with maybe Squarespace or Wix, just to get comfortable with drag and drop. Um, uh, from there, um, oh man, look at this. So guys, I, did, I failed to mention that we're at Frank's Diner here in Spokane. Take a look at this. This this is incredible. This is making amazing looking stuff. So sauce for Tabasco. I don't know what do you think, Josh. I think I'm good. All right, we're good there. So all right, back to back to breakfast here. So uh, that's what we love about this. This is raw. It unfiltered. So that's who we are. A couple of guys talking to having breakfast and talking about careers. Yes. All right. So talk a little bit. So here you are. You've gone to the military. You've gone through some graphic work. And now you know you're on your own out here. Mm -hmm. You know, talk a little bit about how is this career impacted you as a man, and what does it mean to you right now to be in this field of work? Uh, well, the army was a six-year gig. Uh, it gave me the the confidence in what I'm doing to um, be able to work with high-ranking officials. Was, uh, there was times that I was working briefing uh, colonels. Uh, I worked in an embassy environment, so I uh, crossed paths with the, the ambassador um, once in a while, and so. I you'd have to get comfortable with that. Um, you'd have to develop a presentation and uh, be able to articulate um, anything along the design process to justify why a certain color or a certain font um, is appropriate for a design to be able to reach a target audience. Um, and so that, that translates directly into any other sector, whether it's government, whether it's civilian, um, whether you're working for somebody else or working on your own. Um, all, all of that transfers over. Um, and so, I, I think uh, when it comes to my, my day work, um, you have to be able to, you have to be self-driven. Uh, you have to be able to stand on your own two feet. Um, you have to wake up in the morning, and sometimes those are really early mornings, to be able to get ahead of the game. And um, I'm happy to do that because it provides the kind of life that I enjoy. Uh, it provides the, uh, the freedom uh, to be able to... Uh, bring my creativity into my work um, and uh, give me the type of uh, lifestyle that uh, works well with my family. Nice. 
Well, and that, that dedication, that drive, and you know, being able to every day get up and get up and do the thing that we like to say here at Exceptional Gen. That you know, it also allows you to move into a whole different field as well, too. So aside from the graphic work, so guys, I, Josh brought along his very first children's book he's ever published. It's called The Companion Cup, and I think this is great. I mean. We can be men, but we can look through, you know, things that that help us as fathers, as husbands, as future uh, boyfriends. That this is this is really cute. So tell us a little bit about the companion cup and how you came about to write this. Okay, so this was actually for a class that uh, I was enrolled in uh, last winter. Um, with the the army, I was able to uh, gain the GI Bill, so I've been capitalizing on that, and um, I am uh, just over halfway through um, a uh, um, the current degree program that I'm in. This was a spe specifically a program in uh, digital publishing, and so I chose to uh, focus on a children's book. Uh, this was this one is geared towards a uh, well, the toddler age, and um, but this is where this is where the what's nice about this field is um, as things are constantly changing in the market. Um, there's ways that you can overlap into other disciplines. This is a really good example of that. So while normally I'm a graphic designer, uh, I work on web pages and branding, um, those same skills um, using Adobe, uh, the, the programs we mentioned earlier, um, this, this one in particular uses Illustrator for the illustrations and then uh, InDesign for publishing. Nice. And so with the, the possibilities out there of self-publishing now, um, you don't have to go through all of these applications as it has been done in decades past um, to see that hopefully that somebody will, will call, call you. Uh, you can just put yourself out there and yeah. make it happen. Self-publishing is a fantastic way, and you know, uh, down the line we'll be getting into other various careers that you guys will be able to explore and get into because we know that everyone is going to go to college and become a rocket scientist or you know are going to be build the next uh, mega building. But one of the things we want to make sure that you guys are aware that you have access to is that you could be a self-built man like Josh. That you know. Here's a guy, he went in the military, made a fantastic work of a career there, got to have some amazing experiences, came out, you know, is putting what he learned to work. I mean, every single day, I mean, you guys saw the logo, you see it, it's fantastic, it's beautiful, it completely represents everything that Exceptional Gem is about. Uh, and then, on top of that, he's using it to better society by making something that's specifically designed, you know, for kids and for families, really. Josh, fantastic one. We, we love your partnership here at Exception, Jen. Um, how can people find you? How can they get a hold of you? You know, do you have an Instagram handle? Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, my website is the uh, is the best channel, which is roadmapmediadesign.com. Um, that explains a lot as far as uh, each of the services, um, and then it's it's a, it's a portal to show how there are different ways that um, if there's not something that I provide. Uh, pertaining to the multimedia umbrella, such as uh, video, is not something I typically touch. I have connections with the people who I need to get you in contact um, to make sure that you're taking care of in those specific areas. So even if it's yeah, you know, if there's one area that's not touched, I'll make sure that you're taking care of it. Awesome. So they can follow you on Instagram. What's your Instagram handle? Instagram, no, but fa Facebook, you'll, you'll find it there. That's right. We'll get you there. We'll yeah. So. <laughs> All right. Uh, and LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn is, is a real good source as well. And what are we doing? Some pieces on LinkedIn down the road because uh, gents that is another very powerful tool that you could be using so well Josh thank you again we really appreciate it we got some awesome food here we're gonna dive right. in we're again Frank's Diner Spokane Washington uh, these guys actually came through for us in a real pitch so again mm -hmm. thanks Josh and we're glad to have you on the EG team and uh, again uh, this has been uh, what's my job you can follow us at Instagram at uh, exceptional gent underscore PNW. Uh, click and like the video, share it down below, and we are excited to be able to bring you these each and every month.